I'm looking up Philippians 2 because it's one of my favorite passages just in learning how to um, move forward in unity, how to love your neighbor. And um, and I love how Paul paints the picture in Philippians 2 and he says in in, in the ESV that God didn't think or Jesus didn't think equality with God in heaven was something to be grasped. Like how awesome is that? Like God, mm-hmm. Jesus knew who yes. he was mm-hmm. and at the same time was willing to let go of that in order to walk this earth and put on, become in the likeness of men, it says, put on flesh and was humble to death, even death on a cross. And I think that is just, it's an important um it's an important step. Those are important steps to follow is that first he knew who he was and that is what settled him to be able to do the things that he did. Because when Paul says in the verses before that to the Philippians, do nothing out of rivalry or conceit, nothing out of selfish ambition, mm-hmm. that Greek word means. And the other one means self-esteem. How many times have we been told you should have high self-esteem? And the reality is we should esteem ourselves exactly as the Lord tells us to. It's not mm-hmm. coming from self. Our identity is in the Lord, and that is how we see ourself in a proper way. And once we can do that, then we understand, wait a minute. Like Leslie, like you said, this person has been made in the image of God, and especially if they are a believer, yes. they are my brother and sister. And all of a sudden, people that were across the aisle are right next door. And I think that is right. that is actually how we come to do it. We have to realize first who we are and that our identity is in Christ. The Bible says that our, our lives are hidden in Christ. And when he appears, that's when our lives shall appear. And that's where it has to come from, not in what we do, not in what society tells us, because we have to correct what society tells us. Everybody, some society tells some of us that we're less than, society tells others of us that we're more than. Um, And the reality is the Lord is like, your identity is in me, every bit of it. And when we start there, then we have a clearer perspective on the value of everybody else. And Jesus, I like it when you said it, Diana, you brought up the story of the Good Samaritan. I love that one because he's talking to this Jewish attorney who would not have thought highly at all of a Samaritan being the hero of this story. And I love how the Lord keeps keeps throwing examples in scripture like you thought that person was across the aisle. They're not. You, um, you think Jews and Greeks are far apart. They're not. Do you think this about, no, Mm. they're not. You know who you are in Christ, and then you'll be able to see one another as you are supposed to. This is how you do it. And I mean, the Bible tells us if we will allow, um, allow our minds to be renewed so that we might be transformed, um, then we can get it and we can practice it. And we won't get it 100% every time, but we can practice it, you know? Hi everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe today and you'll never miss a new upload. Thanks for being a part of our Better Together community.